Okay. In this video, we're going to talk about um, finding the present value of uneven future cash flows. So, um, what we're looking at is, in this case, the example I've given is we've got two contracts. Okay, so someone was a contract, um, uh, you know, business with us, and both contracts last for six years. Um, and this is the amount. Or I'll put table in here. So uh, for years, and this is your year one, year two, year three, four, five, six years. Um, I want you to also notice that in total, both of these contracts come out to being exactly the same. Um, they're both $3.85 million either way. But notice that the amounts obviously differ every single year. So how do I figure out which one of these contracts is better? Well, obviously there's multiple ways. There could be other elements of the contract. There could be qualitative aspects of the contract. But one method we can use is um, a discounted cash flows method um, where I take each and every one of these um, and at a given discount rate, I find the present value of each one. Um, so I'm discounting year ones back to today and year twos back to today and year threes back to today. And if I use the same discount rate for each of my options here, um, I can figure out whichever one has a greater present value um, is, is a better rate of return um, for my, um, for my uh, business. So I'm going to put the cash flows here. So we'll do contract one first. So I've got year one through six. Okay. And if you're, like I said, if you want to pause, I've said in prior videos, if you want to pause and build this, that's fine. Um, so in order to build this um, flexible, I made 20 years worth, which is which we can use. And let's say that the discount rate is 10%. So that would be my, my growth rate, um, is my approximate growth rate. So I'm going to discount that each one of these years back um, to present value uh, based on a growth rate of 10%. So I want to know what is $500,000 discounted back 10%. What is it worth today um, if it's $500,000 one year from now? What $750,000 two years from now discounted back at a rate of 10%? $500,000 three years from now discounted back at a, at a rate of 10% and so on and so forth for all of these. Now, what I could do is I could go through and use a present value calculator I've built in other videos and do each and every one of these individually. Um, then I could add them all together. But there's a faster way in Excel um, to do this. Um, what we can use instead is the net present value function. So I can hit equals MPV, open parenthesis. The first thing it asks for is the rate, which I've got my discount rate already here at 10%. And the next thing it asks for is the values. So um, this wants values, but it wants them in order from year one and, and, and so forth. So the good news is uh, MPV does a good job. I can actually take this and make it even all 20 years. It's not going to make a difference. Um, technically, really, what you want to highlight is just the six years here. Um, but if you want to build this calculator for future, you know, longer term projects, you could actually build it to go the whole way down. Um, so I've got the present value, net present value of the $500,000. And Excel automatically assumes that value one is discounted back one year. Value two is discounted back two years. Three is three years and so on and so forth. So it, it automatically is, makes that assumption for you. Um, that, that, that they're in order by the number of years. So you want to make sure that they stay in order. You can't just put uh, the numbers in a random order or make them highest, biggest, the smallest or anything like that. So this will give me the present value is 2,743,000. Um, um, $2,743,000. Uh, dollars is a present value of these cash flows at a discount rate of 10%. So that would just be taking each one of these present values, uh, discounted back today and adding them all together. So 2.7 million. So what I want to look at is, is this contract to more than that. If it's more than that, then that would mean that that is the better contract for me um, uh, to take. So I'm going to use the same, I don't actually need to move the function at all. That was 2.7 million and 2.8 million. So it is better, but not by a lot. It's by better by about $100,000. Um, but it is it is better. And it kind of makes sense because I've got more money earlier. Now I've got not quite a third, close to a, a little over a quarter of this whole contract paid in year one. So the earlier I get my money, the better, uh, which is why, which is the biggest reason why this came out as a higher present value contract two. So in this case, I would want to accept contract two and not contract one because the net present value is greater for contract two than it is for contract one.
and that's the present value of uneven cash flows.